Hey chat, what is up? Welcome to another video. Today I was I was signing in this video, so there's no reason for you to hear it. So I was like, let me just talk over it. But basically, I ran out of storage and I am morally against deleting stuff. Like it just goes against my honor code deep inside this heart of mine. So I was like, why don't I just pop them all in a video? Don't like I'm not even going to edit it or anything. I'm just going to like leave it there. And then it can go on my great YouTube archive. So these are all the videos I had in my camera roll that were over a minute long. I think. I actually don't remember. Okay, bye. Wait, no. And also, I had this, like, vision that I was going to make this, like, really nice, aesthetic, pretty video of, like, senior year and stuff. And it was, a lot of these videos were to go in that video. But I decided I'm not going to make it because I don't care anymore. And it's been too long. Okay, that's it. Bye for real. Hey guys, so I got my license today. So this is my first driving alone vlog. Now you may be thinking, hey, you just got your license. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be immediately making vlogs like maybe what if you suck at driving um and you know to that i'm you know you're probably right so i'm not gonna look at you guys um i'm not even gonna look at myself because i know i look mad jank jank is that a word that people use also i just realized i'm filming in the wrong aspect like not aspect i don't know what it's called it's like vertical and not horizontal Like, I always talk to my mom and drive. I feel like this is the same. Anyways, let's talk about my driver's test. So basically, I passed, obviously. I'm standing here driving. I'm just turning. That's worse. Okay, let's look back. See, that's a little rude about me. I am cancelless to anybody. I can take my license away. I'm gonna walk in there literally like this. I'm so happy it's like gonna be dark in there. I look ugly as shit. Let's smell like strawberry pound cake. Strawberry pound cake. I freaking love strawberry pound cake. Um, and I'm gonna be really sad when I grow out of it. I wanna smell like a real person. Um, that will be a very sad day. Odd. Did you guys see my nails? Am I giving BBL? Am I giving... Am I... I need to get a buccal fat removal. Right here, a buccal fat removal. Anyways, let's put a little Cetaphil, Cetaphil lotion on my face. Because... I got my brows waxed. Um, and I'm like pretty sure, but this happens to me every time, and I'm lying actually, because I've never actually ever gotten my brows waxed before this. But my mom said that this happens to her every time that she gets her brows waxed. It's like like swells, which obviously yeah, it's gonna freaking swell, but it like leaves these like little acne kind of bumps because each hair follicle that's getting pulled out is like, oh no, I'm a hair follicle, I don't want to go home, um, and it does that. But honestly, like looking at my face. That might just be me. So, yeah. Bye, guys. What is What is the
Google the lyrics to the song and see if it's over. No, I think the words are gonna come back. Maybe if they push into like a different No, I don't think so. Okay. Hello and welcome back to The Pulse with your favorite two people and a new person. This is me, Amrita. Hello. And it's me, IQ. Hi. And Chelsea. Hi. And you know what? We are just feeling so lucky to be back here, back in this lovely, lovely radio room. And we are feeling so lucky. I just needed to play a lucky song. So here is Lucky by Two Door Cinema Club. Okay, I think it's good. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? Whipped cream, honey mustard, salt, pepper, strawberry jelly. Whipped cream? Where'd you get whipped cream from? <laughs> it's from butter. The, from the, oh, it's butter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was whipped cream. That's it's butter. I thought it was whipped cream. Oh, oh. He, he probably think I'm. <laughs> Are they leaving now? Fine. I think so. Are they leaving now? Can we have to duck? Is this good? <laughs> no, you Wait, don't. Wait, this is good. This is good. This has to be good. Yeah, it's good. This is for you. Thank you so Wait, much. Wait, let me show. I'm gonna do this. I was right. Yeah. It's like 40. I'll do it. You'll do it. Yep. <gasps> you oh my god <laughs> no words hey guys not only is this my first time having a crumble cookie but it is the one and only Olivia Rodrigo cookie. It's purple and it's covered in sprinkles and I think it's got like jelly inside. I don't know. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna take a big old bite. You ready? Mm-hmm. It's all right. I give it a... I give it a six. Want a bite? It's actually kind of good, actually. I go to seven, actually. Seven is my final answer. Good night. Senior, she was the one who kind of gave the big push for us to get started. Uh, she's going to talk a little bit about her experience, and we also have Jasmine, who is in eleventh grade 
who would like to talk a little bit about her experience. So Amrita, do you want to talk just a little bit about what you do on the state level? Yes, so there are so many lovely things I could say about the Center for Future Educators and New Jersey Future Educators as a whole, but I did a summer program with them and I met a lot of kids who have branches of the NJFEA around the state and they were telling me about all the amazing things that they get to do, how they get to go on conferences and they get to work with kids and they got to meet all kinds of teachers. And I was so jealous that I didn't have all these opportunities. But now that we actually have our chapter and we're getting all these opportunities, I just feel so grateful that not only I get these opportunities, but also like the younger grades and kids that are coming in are gonna feel immediately. Like if I, if I come into ninth grade wanting to be an educator, I feel supported in that career pathway. The same way that the health science kids, the engineering kids, the arts kids have been feeling throughout high school. Um, and I think that's just something really powerful that we're doing, and I'm really happy that this has happened. Thank you, Amrita. Jasmine, you want to say a couple of things about your experience? Sleep, speak, or eat me, my best friend. Only in my darkest moments can I see the light. I think I'm prone to getting blinded when it's bright. I well, this December, I'll remember. Want you to see it when I do. Ooh, God knows I do. Moments, can I see the light? I think I'm prone to get. 